How's everyone doing today? Yes, it is an amazing, amazing week in EAFC so far. We've got the Mbappe SPC, the player of the month. Everyone's been waiting for that. And then we've got this crazy team of the week as well. We've got lots and lots going on. And then we've got this Thunderstruck promo coming out today. Is it tomorrow? Tomorrow. I'm losing the track of days. And that, it looks like it's going to be really, really crazy. I mean, what is going on with EAFC right now? Everything's going crazy. You can see we've got one million coins in the bank waiting to be spent on something or someone. We were hoping to do this guy, but this is very, very expensive. Mbappe, look at what you have to do to get... Let's just check the card out first and then we'll see what else. Look, he's five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot... Look at this guy, he can play centre forward, left wing and striker, look at that card, look at that card, look at that pace, shooting, dribbling, he's insane, you know he's cracked, you know he's going to be absolutely insane in the game, we know that, we know he's very good, he's got a different playstyle to the other card, he's got a playstyle plus in reaches, even higher sprint speed when dribbling, rapid plus, you do not mind that, do you, with Mbappe? That's what you're doing. What do you have to do to get this guy? A crazy amount, a crazy amount. Now, look at 85 and 86, 86, 86, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87 87, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 89. An 89, another 89, another... Oh, my God, I lose count. So, we've got... 389 squads as well that is absolutely horrific we're looking at four million coins but look you know what he's not expensive he's not expensive because his actual other cards are just as expensive or if not more so it's actually cheaper doing this now i don't think there's many people out there who'll be able to get four million amount four million coins together to do it or have the fodder in the worth of four million to go and do it i mean you possibly could within 30 days get the fodder together but it'll be so so hard to get everything done and unfortunately look i've made a decision i th thought about it yesterday and I, we cannot do it we cannot get the fodder together to do in Barkley, unfortunately he is a card that i would love to have done he is end game you know you got him you will not need any other striker for the rest of the game he is that good we know he's that good um but can't do him i cannot do him we've got marquee matchups and we've got these uh, upgrade packs and then we've got this thunderstruck uh, one uh, oh right okay that's a good one 81 plus um what else is going on in spcs uh there's a few other things that are knocking around but i'm not gonna waste time going through spcs why i am here is i've got rival rewards to open up yes last week they were crap uh this week they're probably crap as well but i just thought i'll record it anyway i'll torture you people with my rewards just as long as you know I don't want to be tortured all alone, do I? I want to torture everybody else. I want everyone else to see how horrible the pack look is. I'm going to go for, as I always do, option two, which is the untradeable packs. Uh, maybe we get someone, or maybe we get a, a lot of 89s or 90s and we can throw them into the Mbappe SPC. Unlikely, but you know what? Uh, wishful thinking. You're always optimistic playing this game. You have to be. You have to be uh, optimist to play EAFC and think you're going to pack someone insane. Uh, you never do. You never do. Anyway, let's go to the store. We've got four packs let's open all four let's get this going i had loads of packs saved up yesterday i opened all of them for the team of the week i was thinking why not is this an odigard no it's not an odigard it is benfica this is uh i've not come across this guy rns rns yeah I, i've not come across him and uh, i can see why 79 rated uh, rubbish card uh untradeable and uh, obviously you can't even sell them on um, that's not a good start, is it? That's not a good start for the weekend league. Let's go. It's not the weekend league, is it? It's the it's the rivalry wards. What's going on with me? Heads are gone today. What, Portuguese goalkeeper. What is this? Oh my god, this is not not good. We didn't even get a rare there. Rui Silva, eighty one rated. These packs are awful, aren't they? Awful packs. Not getting even one special card. 
Oh, might get one special card. I'm gonna t no. Let's just take the high rated one. Let's be sensible about this. I'm not gonna use any of these players in any way. Um, right. Okay. Two more packs left. Can we do something? You've seen my pack. Look, you've seen what is going on. What is EA doing to me? Stop killing me, EA. You've got to give me something good. Left back. Is this Davies? Is it? David? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought we had something decent there for once. Okay, okay, we have got nothing special again. Not so good. Last pack. I mean, look, I don't expect a lot from rival rewards. Why would you? I'm not in higher division at the moment. I'm not, I don't even play rivals enough to get these. I sort of don't even think I played. I've not played in rivals this week actually. So there you go. That is the reason why uh, I'm getting these rubbish packs. Maybe if I tried a bit, maybe I could move up the divisions and get some and get some better players. But I think right now, you know my tactic, what I'm doing with my team, I've gone liquid. I've gone liquid because I want to wait around and see, um, well, see what, what's gonna, what we can go and buy. This is the team I'm rocking with. Can you believe this is the team? I mean, it is not very special. Batcher, absolutely insane card. If you haven't done her and she's still around, go and do her. Absolutely brilliant SPC to do. If she gets upgraded anymore, she will be cracked in this game. Uh, Luis Diaz, uh, a fraud. Uh, has been a fraud from day one, uh, worth a million coins when I first packed him. Absolutely not worth that. I, I bet you uh, he'll go down to his actual value. He is around value, I'd say about 100, 100,000 coins. That's his actual value. He's as good as that. Nothing more uh, because he is not good at finishing. He's fast. He's slightly good at dribbling, but does not feel like he's isn't worth the coins that he's been held for that is purely your investors who've bought this card and held on to him and try to dictate the price on the market try to fool people go out there and go and buy him he's insane because he's worth that much no it's not do not go on the price of a card always always go on what people are saying about a card for, for instance morgan i mean morgan is so much better than uh, Diaz absolutely cracked card and f I think she's 30,000 coins something let me see yeah, f yeah I mean that is an absolute bargain for what you get with her absolute gold machine Rodman as well absolute brilliant feels so fast that is absolute dirt cheap for Rodman let me go and see what Lu Luis Diaz is going at the moment uh, has he dropped yeah he's dropped a bit He's dropped a bit and there's not much supply, is there? There's not much supply. Maybe that's why he is that expensive. I mean, but even then, I would I would not pay more than 100 for that dude. It's an absolute lie. And that tells you everything you need to know about the game. I mean, people and these investors try to dictate what you're paying for these cards. Anyway, Torres was the initial choice I was looking to buy. Um... Well, he, we bought him actually for about 700 something. We sold him, uh, panic sold him, thinking that uh, he'll get, uh, he'll drop uh, during the Black Friday week, which he did. So he is dropping. He is now 600,000. Wow. Now, the choice we have is whether to get that mill coin, spend it on Torres and buy another player, or just buy one player for that much. And this dude is the one that I really, really want. He's got that five star, five, five, is it five star, five star? Is it four star, five star? It's four star, five star. But I mean, this guy just looks absolutely cracked with that finesse. And look at them stats. You know, they're, they're, they're brilliant. Finishing stats are brilliant. Dribbling's really good. Um, acc acceleration's really good. I really do think that this guy would be the perfect, perfect buy. He is slowly dropping he's slowly dropping i'm hoping by tomorrow he might be i think when do the prices drop 
exactly when what's the best time to buy the best time to probably buy is tomorrow around this guy this guy is uh, said to be very very good as well Neymar uh, he's stayed the same if not actually he's gone up a bit so that's an interesting one Neymar has gone up a bit in price you see all the pro players still using Neymar and I think that's because of his dribbling 93 dribbling is very very good um, let me just do something actually I need to compare a Neymar well uh, I need to compare a uh, in Mbappe with a few players that I'm looking to buy. Obviously, Dalglish is the main one. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it'll give you an indication of whether Mbappe... What have I done? Uh, let's just go for his... Just a gold card. Uh, let's just say add to transfer targets. Okay, so let's now go and compare Mbappe with Dalglish. Let's get rid of him and let's go there. Compare right, okay. So Mbappe's got crazy, crazy Mbappe. You can see why he's the one of the best cars in the game. He's got look at that sprint speed, look at that finishing attacking position 93 94 finishing better than Dalgley. Shot power is better than Dalgley. Long shots are not better than Dalgley. Volleys and penalties are not better than Dalgley. But what card this is passing. Yeah, you're not really bothered about passing, but his short passing is better and his long pass is better than Dalglish. Agility 90 for Dalglish, 93. Balance 88, 82. A reaction 92, 93. Ball control 89, 92. Dribbling 93, and he's got 87 dribbling. Composure is 88 and 88 composure. It very similar cards, aren't they? They're very similar cards. Um, and then yeah your heading is is similar better in Dalglish's case and uh, stamina strength is slightly well a lot better in uh, Mbappe's yeah Mbappe's got a lot of strength there so that's really good so that's why this guy could be a cheap Mbappe that's what I was looking at I'm thinking maybe this guy could be a player that we could just get and just he could be cracked as well um obviously he hasn't got that dribbling of 92 i think that dribbling makes a huge difference or should i just go and get torres and get someone else as well so get torres for about uh, 500 i'm hoping if i if you can get torres for about 500 by tomorrow um he's 590 there right now 590 580 yeah if you could pick torres up for 500 you've got another 500k to go and spend on another cracked player maybe a midfield player maybe someone like portales or something let me know please drop your comments below what do you think i should be doing do i should go out there and buy one player for all the coins i've got like dalglish and one clutch player or do i buy torres and someone else in the midfield and just kind of make spread that coins across the team let me know drop your comments below make sure you hit that like button on this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel sam sisu what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button we are the best eafc channel out there yes keep up to date with everything going on with eafc if you feel me smash the like button below